Hi guys, welcome in. Welcome to the channel. Happy 1010 portal. If you're in Canada, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy this beautiful time with your family and friends. Um, our uh, Thanksgiving here in the U.S. is going to be next month. <laughs> so, um, all right, you guys, here we are. I'm going, this is going to be a quick one. Um, I have started my packing, so I kind of want to give um, a message uh, for you guys. Um, I want to see what's being activated for the 1010 portal. I want to see what chakra to focus on right now at this time and a message from spirit. Okay. For you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember just take what resonate and leave the rest for others. I really do appreciate you guys, um, liking, sharing, and subscribing. It does help the channel, our community to grow, and it does help the message to reach those that need it. So thank you guys for, for doing that, for paying it forward. Um, thank you guys for your donations as well, for scheduling personal readings with me. The information to that is in the description box below, or you can DM me at, on Instagram. I've been posting a lot on Instagram today at infinite underscore love 1111 because I'm getting a lot of downloads. So when I get a lot of downloads, I post a lot. So anyway, here we are. Uh, we have um, crown chakra. Yeah, you guys are probably seeing a lot of angel numbers at this time. I know I am. Getting a lot of downloads, epiphanies, the energy is really strong. This moon, full moon in Aries combined with a 1010 portal. There's a lot of downloads, um, uh, light codes, a lot of activations. Um, th th there's an ascension going on right now, a huge energy shift, okay? A lot of awakening, sudden awakening, awakening, breakthroughs, aha moments, epiphanies, revelations. All of that's coming in right now at this time. Yeah, it's a good time to ground for sure, especially with crown chakra showing up um, and um, to protect your energy as well as it's also, um, it, 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 it's a great time to manifest. It's a huge manifestation portal that's opening up that is open right now. We're in the middle of getting ready to already in the, in the gateway towards uh, the eclipse coming up on the 25th. <clears throat> So yeah, write down your intentions, capitalize on this energy, um, make sure you are transmuting out of negative thinking at this time, any kind of doubts, it will um, definitely affect, create some kind of a delay or blockage or affect your manifestations if you, um, if your faith is not unwavering. So it's like if you're feeling, you know, frustrated or some kind of pressure or, you know, a lack of patience, um, then definitely hop into a violet flame uh, meditation or use your affirmations to come back to center, come back to the present moment, right? And, and come back into alignment with your original intention, okay? And make sure that you walk like you already have it. It's already here. The manifestation is already here. Walk in gratitude, especially now more than ever. Um, so, okay, you guys, um, you want to write it as if you already have it when you're writing down your intentions and we're still releasing at this time. So write down everything you want to release, whether that's fear, procrastination, stagnation, release, um, doubt, worry, the ego, whatever it is that you're trying or, or people, right? Whatever, whatever it is that you're trying to release at this time, limiting beliefs, outdated beliefs, write it all down. And if you can burn it, you know, um, burn it, um, under the moon as well. All right, that's for the 1010 portal spirit for the collective. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Okay, guys. All right, Spirit. Um, yeah, so we have the divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicities, and God incidences. And again, answer the calls. Time to shine. What's being activated right now for the collective for the 1010 portal? Spirit, what's being activated? Wow, Archangel Michael, breakthrough energy, divine protection. Cords are being cut at this time. Anything else is being activated? I feel that. I feel that strongly, especially with the post that I posted um, 
uh, today. I've been posting a lot about the 1010 portal. And then we do have the base chakra here, um, which is the root chakra for strength and security and laying down foundations. Okay. So I'm going to read this from the book for you guys. This is Archangel Michael card, the sword of light here. You have divine protection, cords are being cut and breakthrough energy. Yes, you guys, sword of light, 150. So there's a lot of breaking free energy for what no longer serves with the help of Archangel Michael. This is nice. I love that. Okay. When this card comes to you, know that it is confirmation that you are walking the path of light and responding to pre-incarnation soul contracts to make a difference on the planet. It's also a sign that you have the opportunity to sever connections to fears and limitations. Energetic cords bind us to situations, loved ones, and even the past. But you are in transition now and detaching from unnecessary connections, dramas, and fears. Know that there will be a great severing at this time and you might feel isolated for a moment. As you will be reconfiguring your circle. Wow, that's what that post was about today. I posted something about that today. Important on, um, on Instagram. As you will be reconfiguring your circle of trust. And moving into a life that is in greater alignment with your highest good. Know that the cords that bind you to loved ones and soul family will remain intact. It's only the lower vibrational connections that are being severed. So let them go, you guys. This is of autumn. This for oh, for here for the U.S. It's autumn, which means that's the season of letting go. But you can let go at any season, right? <laughs> Expect breakthroughs and doors of opportunities opening for you after you release this negative energy. You're making room for all the new, new. Wow! Expect breakthroughs and doors of opportunities opening for you. If you feel strongly connected to Archangel Michael, know that his energy is with you now. Every time I call on Archangel Michael, he comes through for me. I say Archangel Michael. I call Archangel Michael for my family as well, and he comes through immediately for them as well. Say Archangel Michael, please remove everything, anything, and anyone that isn't love, that isn't unconditional love, and that isn't for my best and highest good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can say also that doesn't have the, the best and highest intention towards you, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Archangel Michael. It is done, it is done, it is done. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Surrender it, release it, and then carry on with your life knowing that he got it. And then whoever drops like fly cakes or whatever, how you say that expression? I don't even think I said that right, you guys. <laughs> whoever drops like flies, maybe that's the expression. Um, if you guys know it, put it in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> um, let them go. They're not meant to be. They're being removed by the divine from your life right now, okay? Um, this one is a nice one. This is talking about the Seraphim's Gateway. Is Some of you guys are earth angels and you're channelers. So um, there's a voice activation taking place right now. Divine support and angelic attunement. So this means that, that you are a channel for spirit. The angels are, are trying to activate your voice. So that they, you can speak, they can speak through you as you set, as you shine your light and love out into the world to, to as a healer and a light worker, a star seed. Okay. So this is a very beautiful message. Love this card. 124. One twenty four. Okay. This is the message for this one. You are blessed to receive the light of the seraphim. Know that these beings of infinite light are singing your name in the heavens to unlock the power of your own voice. Angelic support surrounds you at this time. Know that you are safe, for you are being held by the presence of love. The seraphims are witnessing the, the glory of your being and activating your angelic quality. Some of you guys are earth angels. If you connected to, to my channel and you were guided to this message today, most likely you are, because this message is for you. You care deeply about the welfare, the welfare of the planet and all of her and all of her beings. In fact, you are hoping to make a great difference in the world. And the reason for this is you are carrying angelic light. Let it shine for all the world 
for, for the world around you. Wow, what a beautiful energy. So all the negative energies are being removed from your life because you're, you're, you have a greater purpose and a greater calling that you're um, being activated to step into soon. <laughs> okay, the sooner you surrender and let go and, 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 and allow for, you know, what's happening within you, the, tr the inner transformation, right? The awakening of your um, gifts here, okay? Um, the sooner you will start, right? The sooner you will be completely in alignment with your purpose if you're not there yet, okay? But just know that um, if you're noticing these changes happening in your life, then you are being placed and direct, uh, being placed on the right path in the right direction okay towards your soul's calling your purpose so this is a good thing so let's read this inner inner earth it doesn't feel good but it is a good thing and it's happening for you not to you inner earth 97 okay so this right here is the root chakra I just actually moved up from root to sacral today. I've spent a few days working on my root chakra. I, I work, if you guys have been following me for a while, I work on my chakras every single day. I usually spend for a few years now, I've been doing that. So um, I um, I do guided meditations, chanting, and by, I listen to the binaural beats, all of that. Um, when it comes to, that's what I mean when I say I work on my chakras. Um, and I just spent a few days on, on root, and now I'm just moving up to sacral, to start it today on sacral. So here we are. There's the energy, right, of the root chakra being activated right now. Normally when you work on each chakra, it does take a couple of days for the, for the energy to, to integrate. So um, this could be a huge message that it's time to ground your energy and start to work on your base chakra if you haven't started yet, okay? Um, the base chakra, also known as the root chakra, is found at the base of the spine and is the energy center that governs our connections to the physical world and all of its lessons. This card transports us to the energetic gateway that connects us to the planet and everything that we have learned during our many lifetimes here. We are being given a powerful opportunity to root down and claim our rights to be on the planet to claim the truth that ultimately we are safe. In the image, there is a gateway below a giant tree. This realm is called the underworld. This is the spiritual realm visited by shamans journeying to collect energies, meet guardian beings and reclaim parts of their power or the power of others that have been left behind. Know that if you are searching for parts of yourself, you have the opportunity to find them and build stable foundations you have the you have the right to feel grounded, safe, and secure. So some of you guys, if you're getting a crown chakra activation, remember we saw that card earlier and I said if you're doing that, it's going to be time to ground. This is the grounding chakra here. You can spend time in nature when you're working on your root chakra. There are root chakra affirmations you can use. Um, you can drink foods you can eat foods from the earth and drink like beet juice or any kind of you know, vegetable juice, okay, tomato juice. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can work on your, to ground your energy. You can walk barefoot, lay on the ground. Yoga and exercise is a great way as well. Of course, spending time in nature with the trees. And um, and then you can, or you can use the root chakra guided, guided meditations and chanting, as well as... Um, grounding guided meditations for this okay because this is what's going to keep you protected and safe as you go through your ascension okay it's going to help you to come back to your physical body and feel better it's also going to protect you from psychic attacks and absorbing energies that's not yours as you become more and more sensitive as you awaken okay if you're an empath this is really important to do daily this is what's going to keep you healthy and functionable, <laughs> you know, and uh, active in your in your in your life and protected as well. Okay, so if you've been distracted lately, it's because you're not grounded. If you've been feeling tired lately, it's because you're not grounded. Okay, so there's lots of different ways that you can tell that you're not grounded. 
If you're restless, if you're having trouble sleeping at night, that means you're not grounded. You're in your head too much, okay? Worrying about something and knowing that you are enough, you have enough, that you are safe and, and, and you are secure and you are protected, that the abundant universe always provides. It's really important. You call in Archangel Michael for this as well. This is the chakra of Archangel Michael. You are being fully aware of what you need in order to feel safe and fulfilled on planet Earth. Know that it is part of the divine plan for you to be incarnated upon this planet now. And although at times you may have felt unstable or that you have lost your way, you have been building up momentum to be where you are today. You are in a space where you can build powerful foundations, a space where you can lay out exactly what you need who you need to be and what you need to do to flourish and grow. You have the opportunity to reclaim parts of yourself that you've buried deep within and reclaim gifts that you abandoned. That's what's happening right now. You're going to be asked to ground these gifts soon. You are starting. If you are starting any projects or are thinking about taking up something you've had on hold, now is the perfect time. The seeds you are planting are sending roots deep into Mother Earth. You are held and you are supported. Very nice. All right, Spirit. So this, that's what's being activated with the 1010 portal at this time. I want to see what chakras is also, aside from the root chakra, is being activated. What chakra is being activated for the collective during the 1010 portal, Spirit? This deck is very thin. What chakra is being activated for the collective during the 1010 portal? What chakra is being activated for the collective? Okay, so we got the crown again, the heart and the solar plexus. Wow, that's beautiful. And the, the root chakra here. Wow. That's, wow. Yeah, sounds about right. The, the, the crown chakra, see, Aries rules the crown. But Aries is also a um, fire sign. So that's solar plexus energy of willpower, motivation, determination, ash, action, masculine energy here. Also, this these three chakras here is, 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 has everything to do with healing codependencies, the inner child, self-love chakra here. Unconditional love is being activated. So we have the crown chakra. It's saying one with all. Um, there's a lot here for crown and they each say something different. Okay. So there's mindfulness here. So, and same thing for heart and solar plexus and, and root. So we have the seventh chakra being highlighted here. And this is what it says. This is what you can say and you can pause this and write it down and read it out loud to yourself. I feel the divine force flowing through me. I honor this and I know that it flows through all. I am calm in knowing that I am one with all and I contemplate and meditate on this fact. I regularly, I regularly remind myself that we are all from the same source and that we are all on the journey as a spiritual beings experiencing this physical existence. I am aware that I have a choice as to how I respond to what is happening in my life. My responses have an enormous effect on my spiritual, mental, and emotional, and physical well-being. Absolutely. So that's like a, a long mantra, you can say, you know, or write it down as we are, you know, setting our intentions, right, and releasing at this time. But you, what's being activated here, what you are awakening to, because the crown chakra is the chakra of awakening, what you're awakening to is here that you are one with all and that we are all connected, which explains why the reading resonates with so many people, right? We're all experiencing similar things, okay, in our lives, going through the same. So that's why every person that heals helps the collective to heal. We have heart chakra, which is the fourth chakra here of unconditional love. I love this one. I love, love, love this one. So this is what's being activated right now. And you're in each one of these chakras. Okay, so you're probably going to feel very compassionate, very loving, very, you know, uh, less envious, less defensive, less insecure, especially with these chakras that's being highlighted here. Less and less, you're going to start to, the, the bitterness, the resentment, all of that is going away. You are uh, re releasing the ego and aligning with divine love, which is unconditional love here. 
Let me read this to you guys. I allow myself to be open to giving and receiving love without fear of rejection, which also has to do with solar plexus. Solar plexus is releasing the fear of rejection. That's solar plexus and feeling safe. Third, uh, um, I'm sorry, feeling safe is root chakra as well. So it's all, you know, an alignment here, working together. Um, I give without expecting recognition or acknowledgement in return. That's that healing the codependency, right? That's us being able to give and receive without expecting anything in return just because we want to. It feels good to us. It brings us joy to serve, right? Without... And when we're in this energy here, it's it's important that you also open up to receive because what's happening is um, you're about to, uh, the universe, God, source, the universe, the angels are going to flood you with abundance, but it's not going to come from whoever you gave to. It's going to come from strangers. It's going to come from everywhere, from all around the world to you, okay? So, op so open up to receive. Uh, learn to do that, okay, if you don't know how to do that, which is looking to me like you are aligning with that, of being more open and receptive here to re to giving and receiving love without expectations, which it means you're also releasing your attachments because attachment expectation is the root of all suffering, right? So it's like... Um, doesn't matter if, if you're not receiving reciprocally from where, who you're giving to. You're, it just brings you so much joy to have that compassion and to want to serve and give to others. When I am loving to others, I am helping, I'm helping bring out the, the innate love within them so they also feel uplifted, worthy, and cared for. So you're making people's days here. Like your kindness, your smile, your compliment, whatever it is that... that just by showing up, showing your light and love, sharing that with the world, you are all helping everyone to heal as a light worker, star seed, healer. I love myself the way that I am, not the way I was or could be. And I extend this love to others. So healing from any kind of jealousy or envy of healing um, any feelings of inadequacies when you see other people um, that have achieved um, more or they, they are more abundant or they're doing something you would like to do. Um, you're releasing all of that. You're, you're finding your inner power here. You're, wait, you're taking your power back. You under, you're waking up to your own special gifts. You're putting your energy and focus and attention on your own garden, on your own self and your own strengths and gifts and abilities, right? And you are understanding that you are... Um, that your potential is, the possibilities are unlimited and um, you have infinite potential. I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself. Wow. What you allow is what you're going to get. What you put up with is what how people are going to treat you. Um, you're using your voice as well. I'm getting, even though I don't see that here, but heart chakra is also connected to the thymus, which is the higher heart, which has everything to do. It's right between the throat and the heart. So normally when I get a crown chakra activation, it always connects my heart. It's like having your mind and your heart in the same place. And when you do that, you can move mountains. We have solar plexus here. Um, self, this is self-confidence. Okay the third chakra so you're you know <laughs> it goes to, without saying right when you have self-love here and you align with unconditional love there is a self-worth that comes with that of, of valuing yourself i trust myself fully this is also listening to your intuition and your gut instincts i will not allow fear or doubt to hold me back from doing what i am here to do i have confidence belief and conviction in my abilities and goals i welcome questioning by others as this gives me a chance to clarify my truth so you're releasing the ego here uh, that that helps that gives me a chance to clarify my truth ideas and philosophies i so you're open to teaching others when they come to you with questions and and even if they disagree with you you're 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 in this energy of you know your truth and it's like you're open to learning other people's opinions and, and their perspectives, you know, um, and, and, and they're entitled to it, right? Their beliefs, their perspectives, and their opinions. And, 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 you're, and you're not trying to change their mind. You're like, okay, 
great, good for you, you know? <laughs> and it's like, some people are not gonna be open to learning from you. That means that they have their third eye, their third eye is out of balance or are blocked, okay? Not active. They're not open to they to, to learning new things from others. They they also are the kind of people that probably most likely doesn't ask for help. Um, that means that they have their third eye is, is is you know needs a little bit of work, okay? But that's not what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that you are uh, trusting yourself more. You're feeling more confident, especially in, in the intentions that you're setting. This um, self-confidence here that's being activated with you is helping you with your faith as well regarding what you're building and what you're creating, believing in yourself more. Self-confidence is the key to everything, to manifestation, the law of attraction. You know, um, it's like, it's like if you apply for a job or if you apply some, to something that's important to you for a loan or for anything and you're waiting for, and it's something you are really manifesting, something that you really want, right? Um, that you have been preparing for and all of that, and you're waiting to hear them back. And during that time frame, right? What are you doing with your with your energy, your thoughts? Is it, I trust that what's for me will be for me and it won't pass me by. What will be, will be. I accept what is. Um, this or better, you know, um, it's already mine. It's going to work out. Or are you, you know, um, in complete panic and fear and doubt and worry and stress and, you know, pacing back and forth, waiting, looking at the clock. Where are, did they call today? You know, where is your energy when it comes to that, right? Check in. I trust in the higher power and I am open to new challenges. That's beautiful. And then we have the base chakra, which, oh, look, just speaking of the throat, here it is, the throat under the deck. I did say that I felt that because I, I did feel a little something, something on my throat. We have creative expression here. I will read that, Spirit, because that's relevant because I just talked about that. <laughs> we have um, building a strong foundation, which was exactly what this um, activation here was talking about, right? Right here, laying foundations. Very important message here about that because there's two cards from two different decks um, piggybacking off of each other saying the same thing. So we have, I create stability and security by adequately providing myself with the basic needs of a healthy life such as a shelter food water and clothing basic needs i use my creativity to build a strong foundation as this is an essential key to my survival and growth the more inner and outer stability i have the more grounded and fulfilling my life will be. It's also talking about building, uh, having a nice balance in your life, right? Between work-life balance, bottom line, work-life balance, balancing your friendships. If you're in a romantic relationship, that as well. You know, I respect myself and take care of my physical body by nurturing and nourishing it. My body tells me what it needs. Listen to your body. I talked about that in the full moon reading that I just did yesterday. So... Here's that same message again about listening to your body. Fifth chakra, which is the throat. And that's very relevant because right here, voice activation that also came through, <laughs> you know, um, create, so creative expression. I am committed to sharing and revealing my thoughts and feelings by being creative in my communication style and using expressive language. You want to call in Archangel Gabriel for this as well as Archangel Zachiel. Okay, um, Archangel Gabriel is the angel that's going to help you with your um, throat chakra here to clear the throat chakra. You can say, Archangel Gabriel, speak, please speak through me. Use me as a channel um, to deliver the messages that is for the best and highest good. If, you have an, if you're about to have an important conversation with somebody, ask Archangel Gabriel to, to, to help you, right, to express yourself creatively here. Um, if you're needing to public speak, definitely still do a, a throat chakra guided meditation as well as you want to still call in Archangel Gabriel. If you have to write a report or an essay for school or whatever, okay, um, you, uh, the, the, the channels to use to work on your chakras that has a wonderful chakra series that I personally use is Brian Scott with two T's. 
And uh, Meditative Mind has a wonderful chakra series. But anyway, I'm going to read this one to you. I am committed to sharing and revealing my thoughts and feelings by being creative in my communication style and using expressive language. I express myself through talking, singing, sighing, laughing, and crying, and through using my creative talents, as well as chanting. Chanting can also activate the throat. I am, I think it's hum, H-A-M, hum, you can chant that, that's throat chakra. I, conscious, I consciously use my senses to experience my world more fully. Also, thank you, spirit. The throat chakra is connected to the ears as well. So you listen better and you can also hear the angels, right? With the, you know, ENT, ear, nose, and throat, right? So nose, ear, throat. So if your nose itches a lot and you're like a channeler, it's because you're getting a message. I see, hear, smell, and feel more. And I become more aware of my surroundings, such as the weather, the aromas, people, nature, sounds, and sights. Wow, the powerful message for the 1010 portal. Let's get you a, um, a postcard from Spirit, and then we will wrap up. We will wrap up. Until next time. I was guided. I was in meditation today, and I was guided to do this reading. So here we are. All right, Spirit, what else for the collective? What message do you have for the collective for the 1010 portal? I love this. I love all of these chakras here that's being activated right now. Everything is, it just looks like everything is just aligning perfectly in perfect divine order and timing and falling into, and falling into place as it should. All right. Spirit, last message here for the collective. Message for the collective. For the 1010 portal. For the 1010 portal. Dearest you, miracles never run out. Let me just show you what that looks like first. Miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people, the right place, the right opportunities, and the right the right time just showed up without any of your help. I told you everything has fallen into place and aligning. I, I just said that. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. Actually, that's how I feel now. Wowzer spirit. Okay. I interesting. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never, ever run out of them. You just don't get to you just don't get to choose how they come. That's where the surrender and the release control comes in. Who will deliver them? When they will show up and what they will do for you. All of that is our department, spirit, that's spirit. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it. Relax. <laughs> if you only knew how much you were loved. Sigh. <laughs> I love this message. All right, guys. This is your 1010 portal message. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And please don't forget to reach out to me to schedule personal reading. I love you all so much. God bless you. Namaste. Mwah. Much love. Till next time.